Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Just uh, taking another little walk near the canal. Just getting a little bit of fresh air because I started getting cabin fever, you know. Anyone who lives in a small space like a boat will tell you that <coughs> uh, cabin fever is quite a prevalent thing. So you need to kind of get out and just get some fresh air, you know, get out, get out of being from cooped up inside all day, you know. So I just thought I'd share this with you. So this is what we call this a meadow. <laughs> um, uh, on the opposite side of the canal. Just so I thought I'd show, um, show you a different perspective of the canal. And look what we've got here, we've got lovely horses. Just wandering, roaming free, enjoying the life. Oh, there's one coming towards me. Oh, I haven't got any food, but I can give you a pat. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, you're very friendly, aren't you? Hey. <laughs> yeah, so as I've said in a previous video, <clears throat> uh, my grand plans have changed. <laughs> you know. Uh, so I'm no longer heading up to Birmingham, going to uh, turn around and go the other way and head back down to the Stafford Worcestershire Canal. Uh, and down to Kidderminster, actually. Uh, I'm going to sign up to, there's a leisure centre down there, uh, which has a pool. And as I know from previous experience, swimming is a great remedy for any kind of muscular ailments. So yeah, for my, my tennis elbow and also my knee, um, that's what I've decided to do. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is lovely, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, you're very friendly too, aren't you? Hey. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. I'm gonna hang around the, uh, the bottom end of the staff in Worcestershire Canal. Cruise around sort of Kidderminster uh, and Starport. I really enjoy my time down at Starport. So, um, yeah. And just spend every other day swimming. Um, and yeah, just keep on doing some rehab on my knees and everything else. Get myself fit again and ready for the cruising season next year. Hopefully when I get my narrowboat, so I'll be able to enjoy being on the narrowboat a lot more. Hey, look, <laughs> there's a beach. <laughs> Good place to uh, try out my new willies. There's my new muck willies over there. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, <laughs> Grand planned again. <clears throat> the problem is, yeah, it's just the amount of locks I've got to do to get down to Stratford upon Avon. There's just <laughs> I, think, I can't remember how many I counted, but there's a lot. Uh, and I just, I really, everyone tells me I need to get off my knee, start off my knee, give it some rest, give it some, you know, recovery, and and just generally take it easy. So. Um, the great thing about the staff of Worcestershire Canal is there's not that many locks. Um, and they're all sort of spaced out as well. So, yeah, it's going to cruise. It's a beautiful canal. It really is. So I'm just going to head on down there. And like I said, you know, do lots of swimming, get my fitness up, etc. Oh, I love horses, they're such beautiful creatures. Oh. And this is such a lovely stretch of canal too, actually, you know, the Stoughton Canal, Stow uh, Bridge Canal. See, I told you I get my Stoughtons I got my Stoutons mixed up. <laughs> Stoughton Canal, Starbridge, you know what I mean. Starbridge Canal, this is. <sighs> so, 
it's lovely just to go be able to go for a walk like this and just get outdoors and get some fresh air um, and give my knee a little bit of movement without sort of impacting it too much. Just a gentle walk. And incidentally, um, <clears throat> I published an article on my blog yesterday about uh, mooring and, you know, people telling me where not to moor and all that kind of stuff, you know, and every time I mention it, Kittimbinster comes up as a place not to moor. And I'm like, well, I've moored there twice now and I intend to remain there over the winter period. So anyway, go read the article if you're interested. Um, it's all about just sort of listening to your own, being comfortable in your own advice. And yeah, too often I think we are, uh, we listen to too many people, we take action from too many people's hearsay advice. Anyway, there's an article on there about it. aussieboater.co.uk But in the meantime, just enjoy the lovely surrounds. We'll go back to the beach. These muckwellies are absolutely awesome. They're so comfortable and they're really warm and yeah, waterproof. Awesome. They're gonna come real in real handy over the winter periods, I'm sure. When, uh, yeah, when the lovely topaz turn to mud. Mud, mud. Glorious mud. Oh, I said that last year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, little fella. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, you're beautiful. Yes, you are. <laughs> Haven't got any food. <laughs> I'm going now. Bye. You're going to follow me, are you? Hey? Sorry, I haven't got any food. <laughs> Anyway, hello. Oh, come here. Hello. Oh, you're beautiful too. Look at you. Hey, isn't that gorgeous? What a lovely thing to be able to do, you know, just have a little bit of interaction with some animals right next to the canal. Just lovely. Anyway, that's it for me for now. I think I'll probably do, because I won't be cruising as much, I'll probably end up doing a few more of these sort of vlogs. Hello. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Very friendly. Yeah, anyway. Stay safe, everyone. I know it's 
That sucks, just all this COVID crap. Look after yourselves, look after your loved ones, and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.